everybody. Today I am back and I am doing the first tutorial on a new scratch project. So, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm thinking of making, I'm thinking of making a typing game where you need to type the key and test your typing skills. So, and there can also be mini games. Um, so, yeah, so probably be um, 20 projects long I'm approximating <coughs> sorry okay and so I will start off with the front screen so first off I am going to create a sprite I'll make it seem like a play button okay <clears throat> so now we have that so copy paste flip vertical and <laughs> oh, okay, 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 so that looks like a good way to start, so I'll now insert the text play on, um, how about I use a different font? Curly, I like curly. Okay, so about oh, because I don't have any fill. That's funny. Black should do it. Play. I'm just trying this to make it seem long. <laughs> okay. So. Let's put that in the center of our button over here. Um, you know, actually, <clears throat> I'm going to do details later on in the next episode, probably. So I'll just, you know, make this for now. What? What? Doesn't erase. Oh, I guess we could just backspace the whole thing. Backspace all! Okay. So. What? 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 Okay, why is this still here? Okay, now you're gone. Good. Okay. So now I will build this thing up with goodness. Hey. Hey, hey. Is there like seriously still lines? Okay, it doesn't really matter.
Now it should be there. Yep, now it's working. Okay. How about a red fill? Okay. So that looks good. So I'm actually going to center this. <clears throat> and then make the object go into the center. One flat clicked motion. Go to zero. Zero. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now our hexagon is in the center. Now, we're going to go to Costumes and to create another one, which is the exact replica of the first one, except this time we will take it and move it a bit more down. A bit more up than that, at least. <clears throat> so, when flat clicked, go to X0, Y0. So... I'm just going to finish up this script, and that might actually be all for today. So, we actually want an if-then-else. So, first of all, I will go to looks and do switch costume to costume 1. So, I am going to go to control <clears throat> and select an if then else and put it in our forever loop. So, I am going to do touching mouse pointer. So, if touching mouse pointer, then. So, looks, switch custom to custom 2. Otherwise, switch custom to custom 1. So, this doesn't really do much so far. Just makes us, you know, make it seem like a button. So, now we're going to make the click happen. And so, we're going to go to control. And to put an if then there. And then we are going to put a mouse down here. Go to looks. And put a hide. So... And it hides. We also probably want to put a show before the one flag click. How about after switch costume? To, no, how about after the go to X and Y? Okay, and there's our button and hide. Okay, good. So, that will be all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for more of <clears throat> the Scratch tutorial videos. I will end the video now. So, not much to say, but bye-bye. Goodbye. That's my See you line. later. That's my line.